we're going to be going on a hunt tonight. We're going to be using the Barnett Raptor FX2. We're going to be putting out HK's Hog Shine Liquid, HK's Hog Shine Golden Addiction, and HK's Hog Shine Dry Mix and Mineral. Tonight we're going to be using the Vastfire Hunting Light. Thank you to Vastfire for sending us your hunting light to try out. We're going to be using it tonight in case the hogs come in after dark and if we have to trail them. Look forward to trying it out. So Doug is throwing out all the corn right now. We're getting it all spread out here uh, for when the hogs come out. They have a nice large area. Um, once he's done doing that, this is HK's Hog Shine Mineral. Uh, what this is good for mostly, I mean, other than just the fact that, that, that they like it, um, it also helps their, their teeth develop, their cutters, and also help the deer antlers develop. That's what the mineral is really for. Um, once we get all this stuff spread out, we're going to um, lay out some golden addiction, which is just flavored corn, flavored with hog shine. And then we're going to get the actual hog shine itself, the liquid. Um, pigs love the way it smells. It's very strong. When you guys get some, don't open it up in your car. <laughs> uh, we don't love it, but pigs love it. So do deer and bear. So we're going to dump that up um, along the trees here, just so they can kind of smell around and be attracted to the whole area it, um, itself. Uh, we're not going to pour it directly on the corn right now just because cows may come over and eat it and it may not be best for livestock so if you're doing that um, maybe don't dump it on the corn itself if you have cows where you're hunting. Now Ashley over here she's going to dump out the, the liquid hog shine itself. Um, let's see what she's doing and where she's dumping it all out. Right there in that trail this is all a nature reserve and right there is where they come in right under the barbed wire right there. Um, so we're going to get it there so the second they walk under that fence and they're like Oh boy, what's going on over here? It smells good. And then we're going to make a trail up to where the corn is out. And that'll give them time to eat around the corn. They're going to see that as soon as they get up here. And they'll be sitting out here right in the kill spot, eating away up to this big pile right here. Now, mineral. All of it? Yeah, maybe go back a little bit. Good. Rest right there. Alrighty. Be back in a minute. Alright guys, so a company called Bass Fire reached out to Hogshine, HK's Hogshine. Um, they're someone that we found on Instagram. Uh, they, look, they look like a great company, so we followed them. They followed us as well. Um, they went ahead and sent us a pair of their lights. Now, these lights are designed specifically for hunting, for outdoor activities, for fishing, for predator spotting, whatever it may be. Um, and we're going to go ahead and give them a try tonight. It's probably going to be dark whenever we're retrieving our hog. Um, and we're going to check out and see how these lights do. They look cool. Now we're going to see uh, how they wind up doing. And we'll let you guys know. This is why we have to hunt the hogs. Number one, because they're just delicious and it's like the most organic meat you can find. But number and they're just everywhere. Number two, this right here is all where grass is supposed to be growing for these cows over there to eat. Now, when 
those hogs come in and they root up all this over here, it becomes, number one, just ugly and a big mess. The pasture doesn't look nice anymore. But also, there's no more grass growing. And as soon as they eat all over there, wherever there's rooting, there they will have never ate. And it, without hogs, without too many hogs, there would be grass there. So you have to control them. If you don't control them, someone's going to call pest control, whatever, and they're going to trap them all and kill them all. So we like to hunt them just to make sure that we're keeping them under control. All right, so at this point, we were sitting and waiting for the hogs to come in. Uh, they did take unusually long, and we never expected it to get as dark as it did this night. Uh, the camera does make it look a lot darker than it was, but I could see through the scope, and from what I saw, I had a good shot at one of the hogs. Unfortunately, I missed the hog, and I think that what happened was I just wasn't used to shooting in the dark like that. Um, and you may be wondering, why weren't you using the vast firelight? Well, I was wondering the same thing, and I still do. Really what happened was, we did not think that, that it was going to take that long for the pigs to come in. Um, they never usually do, and we left the light in the side-by-side. -side. So, I mean, lesson learned. Um, a couple of days later, we did go ahead and try again, and we had some better luck, and we got a great opportunity to go ahead and use the light. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that.
something huge. That was a big pig. That pig was like 200 pounds. And he's just like, hey, I'm back over here. I was trying to be quiet. They were still there when you shot. Oh, shot there? When she shot, they ran. Oh, they were still over there? I was watching the tiger. I was trying to tell you. I thought they left. No, they were still there when little. That one was there. She shot something huge. We were watching. I watched it in the binoculars when she shot. I seen it. Did you see it hit? He's like, their pigs were still there. Why are they turning around? I'm like, David's looking at something like he must have saw something. And he's yelling yeah, at me for being right, right. he's yelling at me for being right, too right. loud. What kind of shot did you get? My shoulder. She was right on top of those pigs. They were in the next to the cow. My phone's down here somewhere. I'm like, they saw something because he turned hey, over. Do we have our flashlights here? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got one in my pocket. Yeah, I think she ran quite a bit. Yeah. Put the white lens in. David. Okay. Go ahead. Whether she got a vital or not. This one's already white. Hand me the other one. It's over there. Good blood. Oh yeah. Hammered it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look right here. Look next to his foot right here. Oh, there's a lot of blood. Dude. She's bleeding. Look at that. Hope so. She was big, might have to walk a little bit, right? Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ooh, made a good shot. She had a real good shot. Man, that's a big one. I'll tell you what, these vast fire lights, they were sure uh, helped us out with this long track. <coughs> I'm thankful to that fast fire company for letting us use these to try them out. Tell what happened, Amanda. You tell what happened. <laughs> so we came out here, and Bass Fire sent us these lights, wanting us to see how we liked them. Um, and we came out here, uh, and this is the first time that, I, that we actually were able to get it done in terms of getting the pigs. They've been real uh, spooky recently. There's just a lot going on around here. But um, uh, today we came down. It was the first time that we came to our secondary feeder down here, 
uh, which was normally we're over on the other side of the pasture because the pigs were always in there, but it hasn't been recently, and, they, and we've been seeing them here. And we set up right probably about 30 yards away from the feeder over here, and the pigs first came in behind us. We didn't know, but Doug and Ashley were sitting over there on the side by side, and they whistled at us because they saw them. And we turned around, and sure enough, there there they were. So Amanda got out of her chair, and we're crawling all the way over there. And then we thought that they had spooked. And so um, as soon as we thought that, I looked back here, and I see this thing. <laughs> and I'm telling her, hey, come over here, and let's get this pig over here. And so we're crawling back, trying not to spook them. And um, sure enough, she got close enough, and she popped, and it was a good smack. And she ran probably, what, a half mile, quarter mile into the woods? Yeah, quite a ways. And I mean, it's pitch black out here, and it was, I mean, it was probably the last five minutes that we could have shot when she did because of how dark it was getting. So we had to track her about a quarter mile into the woods into the nasty, just mosquito-filled swamp brush everywhere, just somewhere where you really want a good light if you're going to be crawling through there at nine o'clock at night. And, um, and we found her. I mean, we, there was blood everywhere, and we could see it perfectly with these lights from vast fire, and we wound up um, walking and walking and walking, and sure, and sure enough, there she was, just laying down. Uh, she got real far for how good of a shot it was because it was a really good shot and um, We worked our way back and we're I think we're pretty happy with the vast fire light Right. Yep. What do you think Doug? Yep. I say thanks to vast fire. It helped us out tonight. No doubt All right. Well, we will probably film some more as we're cleaning this pig up um, And we'll have a video up soon for you guys to all see